Hello, this is Chris Rowlands giving you another bestwindowsmobileapps.com review, this time of Flix. Uh, this is a program which will give you information on local cinemas and the films that are being shown there. This is the homepage to it. Um, it's quite basic, uh, means it loads quickly. Uh, go into the configuration and you can change what country you're in. It supports the UK, France, and and yeah, the rest. Um, you put in your postcode. Um, so yep, the world now knows where I live. That's fantastic. The choice to download the posters um, if you don't want to use up your internet on um, downloading pictures. Also, you can use GPS. That yeah, that opens up GPS. Manage cinemas and SMS. That when you click on it. Um, <laughs> brings up this little thing, which I'm guessing somewhere in this app, I've not managed to find it, but it you can auto-send a text to your friends about whichever cinema. So, um, in cinemas, um, it'll show you your local cinemas. It, um, to actually get the information, first you have to click download, and it'll update the progress of this, and that should, well, it's just connecting to GPRS. Um, downloading information. I believe this uses Yahoo for getting the information on cinemas, um, and it seems to work quite well. Um, just waiting for the second one. Dun -ba -dun -dun -ba -dun -dun. If you're using it on Wi-Fi or HSDPA, then it'd probably work even quicker. But um, my signal isn't that brilliant here, so. Um, any time today, come on. Um, I can never think of things to say in these awkward moments waiting for an app to load something. I uh, hope you're all having a good day. Um, Okay, and I'm back, and it appears that the app actually crashed just shortly before I stopped the camera. So, I've turned on my Wi-Fi and downloaded it again, and it's gone fine. So, there is a couple of bugs still left in here, apparently. So, anyway, cinemas. Um, I've got these two. Um, there's a bit of information about it. If I click on the speakers, oh, it does nothing. I'm guessing that means it has surround sound. There's three, three screens there. That's the phone number. If I click on that... Um, it'll ask me, do I want to dial that number? No. Um, also, when you click on t uh, the little clock there, that'll bring up times of things that are on. Um, and, well, but that includes everything. Okay, so back, back please. Okay, back, back, stop scrolling. Thank you. Okay. Um, there's no food available. Which is a shame. Popcorn is always nice for the film. And this is fantastic. This is a little link through to Google Maps. So it'll open up Google Maps and then it'll show you where it is. So let's tap on it. Um, let's see that. Let's zoom in. So there you go. It's by Betty's. <laughs> so there's City Screen. Fantastic. So let's exit Google Maps again. And there we go. Back into there. Um, same sort of thing for the other cinema. Um, back to the main page. Uh, if we click on movies, this should be a list of all the films that are currently out. Um, complete with uh, complete with posters, but it appears that some of them haven't downloaded, so it's replaced them with little images of its own. Um, so let's go down to Sherlock Holmes. That is something I really want to see. Ooh, St. Trinian's. I really want to see St. Trinian's because it's got David Tennant in. Anyway, um, Sherlock Holmes, this is something that I personally would very much like to see. So it's got a bit about the plot there, and in <laughs> the last time I looked at one of these, it had a very short plot. Um, it looks like it's telling the whole story there. Uh, cast, uh, Robert Downey Jr. Yes. Um, um, fantastic actor. 
and then if you click on times it will show you where and when and that's apparently only on at one of the cinemas and it's at that time so um, ooh, I'm not entirely sure what that ah this is the text thing I'm guessing um, so you can choose between different times that it's on and then send a text I'm not going to press that because I have a strange feeling it might just send that out to all of my contacts. Or maybe you can choose them. I'm not sure, but I don't want to test that out just at this moment. Um, scrolling. On these pages that actually have images on, the scrolling is a bit um, uh, laggy at times. Let's go for Avatar. It's up there. Um, see here, much, much shorter... Um, kind of plot there. Now let's go back. And that that's it pretty much. Um, yeah. That is um, Flick. Flicks. Yes, yeah, not Flick. Um, it runs quite smoothly. Some of the scrolling is a bit um, slow sometimes. Um, and as you could tell by this review, half being filled up with a loading screen, it is a bit buggy. Um, but it is incredibly handy, and I didn't. I only thought we had one cinema in New York, um, but this thing has told me otherwise. And um, so, yeah, you do also have um, the option of where is it? Somewhere around it. Go away. Okay, cinemas. Um, click on the city screen, New York. Oh, earlier when I said um, no popcorn, that was rubbish. Sorry. Um, that <laughs> that icon. When you click on it, it says this will stop downloading information for this cinema. So, for example, if you really don't want to go to that cinema, um, you can disable it. Um, so, if I click on yes, now it will only show one of those in there. Well, oh, no, it will only download information for one of them next time. Um, manage cinemas, and then you can re enable them. So, yes. Oh, and it quit. And it's it's crashed. So um, overall, a rather good app, um, but still a bit buggy. Needs a bit more development on it. But other than that, I would recommend using this because it is quite handy. This has been Chris Rowlands. Thanks for watching.